We haven't talked about margin note in the longest time and a lot has changed in that time. In this video, we will be focusing on the latest update, margin note 3.7. Hey guys, it's Rob Zipek with Paperless X, a channel that is dedicated to helping you discover the best apps for your business, education, productivity, creativity, and lifestyle. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Margin Note 3.7 is a very big update. You can now create hierarchy levels with your mind maps and you can have mind maps within mind maps. This is a massive game changer for a lot of reasons. When I was a student, I had a study notebook for each topic in a subject. Take this subject, for example, therapy, which is also internal medicine. I created seven study notebooks for seven specific topics. Each topic notebook has all the study material and for each study topic, those study materials are the same. If I was to create a new study notebook for a new topic, I had to pick these books again. This wasn't a huge problem because Margin Note doesn't create duplicates of these books, but it's just a tedious workflow to have to do this every single time you create a new notebook for the same subject. With child mind maps, you don't have to do that anymore. Now, you can create one notebook for a subject and have all those topics in that subject in one study notebook. I've created a subject for biology. Let's check out the new organization possibilities. Now I have my main mind map with all the books floating on this canvas. Then I have my biology with four massive topics. I've already started working on cytology because that is the first part of biology. For that big topic, I have created another mind map. And these topics I can open up in this pop up window or focus on them to fully study them. Everything so far that I've shown you are child mind maps. You can navigate through your mind maps and see the hierarchies by tapping the mind map name of your currently open mind map. And you can easily see all the topics and the subtopics in your notes. With one notebook per subject, they've just made organization in the application a lot easier for study notebooks. You can tap the three dots icon to do the following with your child mind maps. Rename, revert to branch, delete, open in float view, or turn on as dictionary title link, which we'll explain in a bit. There are a few things we would love to have in this outline preview. The ability to rename the main mind map. I would have loved to change the main mind map name to biology. Would love to toggle away some items when our child mind maps become too many. And would love to rearrange our child maps to create hierarchies. There are two ways you can create child mind maps in the application. The first one is via the outline by tapping the plus icon. You can then rename your mind map. Each new mind map you create goes to the top of the hierarchy, regardless of what mind map you have open, if you use this method to create a new mind map. The ability to rearrange our mind maps would simplify our workflow. For now, you have to go to the main mind map and look for a floating child mind map to make it a child of an already existing node. Hopefully they can make this easier for us in the future where we can drag and rearrange our mind maps without leaving the outline window where we've created the new mind map. The second method is that you can tap on the mind map, new child mind map. This is the best way to ensure that you add your new mind maps to the right hierarchy and you don't have the trouble of rearranging them later. In iPadOS 14, you can now write directly on the mind map canvas using the Apple Pencil Kit. This feature only works in iPadOS 14 only. Your canvas becomes dotted to show that you've activated writing mode. This is very useful because you can now add notes around your mind map and on your canvas. This is especially useful for meetings and lectures when you don't have time to play around with the mind mapping tools in the application. You also have the writing tools for your documents as well. 
If you don't use an Apple Pencil for your iPad, you can turn on the option to draw with finger. That works too. You can still use the Margin Notes writing engine and its limitations haven't changed. It still works the same, but they've just added more capabilities to the app using the Apple Pencil Kit. Of the two writing inputs you now get in the application, Margin Notes native writing engine is still better. We prefer to the Apple Pencil Kit each of the writing tools has a settings icon that appears when you tap on it. However, when you tap on an already selected tool, you get customization options instead of the settings icon. The settings icon tool allows you to turn on gestures for your writing tools. The accept gesture allows you to extract information from your documents to add them to your mind map. Just draw over what you want to extract and then tap the selection to add it to the mind map. This effectively makes it a two-step process. That means for now, the old highlighting gesture is still better for extracting information from your PDFs. Unless, of course, you're extracting massive paragraphs, then this feature will definitely make your life easier because you can highlight longer paragraphs very easily with this gesture. The mind map gesture lets you link mind maps you can create links or child nodes with this gesture. You can draw a line from one node to another to create a link. The app can automatically detect the direction of your link and that's pretty cool. For a bi-directional link, draw two lines in opposite directions. You can also connect nodes to create hierarchies in your mind map. The node you attach to the other becomes the child. We prefer this gesture to the old one where you had to drag and drop your child node onto the parent node. Both gestures that you get with your writing tools are quite useful. Line detect straightens out your lines and we're looking forward to having full support for shapes in margin node 3. For your eraser, you can turn on auto deselection. You can convert your handwritten notes, the ones that you write on the canvas, you can convert them to notes. Long press an empty space, then drag the rectangle over the notes you want to convert. You then have the option to create note. Say what? That is impressive, isn't it? Now that we can write on the canvas, it would be great if we could see the zoom percentage of our canvas so that when we're adding our handwriting, we know exactly the zoom percentage we're using. We could also have fixed pages that make up the infinite canvas for exporting purposes, of course. At this rate, Marginote is leaning towards being the only application you ever need. And we'd also love to have handwriting recognition to search through our handwritten notes in the application. The child mind maps can work as scratch paper when you need to calculate something very quickly, when you need to brainstorm some ideas or you just want to write something down quickly. That's not really organized, just getting your thoughts on paper. You can create a child mind map and label it scratch paper, then put it anywhere you want to access it. Title links allow you to set keywords in your notes as note titles for Margin Note 3 to recognize them across different mind maps and study notes by automatically generating hyperlinks. You can enable title links for the main mind map and child mind maps too. You can even select different colors for different child mind maps and at the moment you only have four options. For those of us that prefer very colorful notes, we will need more colors for this. When you tap on these links, you can see all the topics in your notes that are related to that topic or that are about that topic, which allows you to zone in on a term in this small window. You can now collaborate on all your documents that are synced to iCloud. You are essentially adding people to the iCloud Drive file. And seeing this feature made us question why we don't have collaboration in all apps that support iCloud syncing. You can decide who can access this file and the permissions they have. Marginote has introduced universal search within your workspace. You are now able to search your whole database from within your current notebook. But every attempt we've made to do that seems to only search through mind maps only. Not sure that qualifies as all documents when it's limited to only your mind maps. 
when a mind map has a document to it, tapping on a search result will open the document that note was extracted from. And that is the only way you access documents. And when the application does that, it creates a temporary tab for that document. When you take notes from this temporary window, it automatically becomes a permanent document in that notebook. The mind map from your results opens up at the bottom of your search result. You can then open it as a floating window in your workspace. You can view the notes in your document which are not added to your mind map. In Margin Note 3.7, they've added the ability to filter these notes using tags and colors. This will help you to quickly find what you're looking for. In review mode, Margin Note now covers all the highlights in your documents, mind map, and outlines. This only seems to apply to the highlighter for the Margin Note handwriting engine only. We're not sure if that is all there is to this feature at the moment or we have a bug that's causing this to malfunction. The highlighter should apply to all the highlights in the application, right? This brings us to the end of this video. Which update do you like the most? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.